The Kenyan Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union has come out strongly to oppose the proposal to have clinical officers conduct minor surgeries and prescribing imaging for patients. The union says clinical officers lack the capacity to carry out such. However, the Kenya Clinical Officers Association maintains that they are duly qualified even as they called off their planned strike. In what seemingly appears like tough wars between the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union and the Kenya Clinical Officers Association, the battle lines have been drawn, with each side calling out the other for what they termed as overstepping their mandates. We are not in any way belittling the contribution the clinical officers have on the health uh, uh, ecosystem. We are just be basically saying that they have their place. And any attempt to try and expand that place without having the commensurate uh, training amounts to putting the patient's safety at risk. Doctors have accused clinical officers of lacking the requisite skills to perform minor surgeries and imaging, saying their training only allows them to offer basic health care. If you look at the Clinical Officers Act, it has a very clear list of uh, uh, illnesses they are supposed to treat, uh, including, uh, I think, the minor stitching of minor cuts uh, and such. Uh, as far as doing uh, operations like a cesarean section, they are not trained. However, the clinical officers maintain that they are well equipped to offer more advanced medical services, such as minor surgeries, as per the scope of their qualifications, which allows them. When you have specialized, then you can be able to do more surgeries and like for our specialties like in reproductive health, they conduct cesarean sections. 98% of cataract surgery in this country is done by clinical officer, ophthalmologist and, and cataract surgeon. The KMPDU has faulted the 2017 review of the Clinical Officers Act saying it was ill-advised and places the lives of patients in danger. In my view, the revision did a very great injustice because it removed what was spelled out in law as what they are capable of doing as per their training and left it open. And there, that vagueness, lack, that lack of uh, specification exposes, to, uh, exposes uh, Kenyans to a lot of uh, uh, probably practice that is not uh, professional. Mary Mwoki, KTN News.